To bind the DJI Avada with the V2 goggles as well as the FPV controller tube, turn everything on, then put the Avada and the goggles into bind mode. Press and hold the power button on the Avada for about five seconds. Then put the goggles into bind mode by pressing the recessed bind button right next to the power socket. And they should bind within seconds. Now that the goggles and the Avada are bound, put the controller into bind mode by pressing and holding the power button for about five seconds. And then same with the Avada. Press and hold the power button. And these are taking a little bit longer to bind, but they will connect shortly. Now all three are bound together. If you're having issues binding, chances are the firmware on the goggles and the controller need to be updated. To do that on a computer, download and install DJI's Assistant 2 for FPV. With the goggles powered on, connect them to your computer using a USB-C cable. Then click on the icon, and here you'll see options to update, downgrade, or refresh the firmware. The process is exactly the same for the FPV controller too. I tried to do this update with DJI's Fly app on a mobile device. The controller 2 did not even connect with the Fly app, so you'll need to use a computer for that. I was able to update the goggles using the DJI Fly app. At first, it didn't seem possible without having a DJI FPV drone. However, somehow it worked when I hit Profile, Settings, Check for Firmware Updates, Update, Download, Cancel, and then download again. I'm not sure if this is meant to happen, but I did successfully update the firmware on the V2 goggles using the DJI Fly app. I was not able to get the goggles to show up in the DJI Assistant 2 for FPV. I tried a few other USB-C cables that I knew could transmit data, and none of them worked on my computer, but they did work on my phone. Then I tried a USB-C to USB-A cable, and with an adapter or a dongle, I was able to connect the goggles. I thought at first that it was a speed issue because this cable is actually a lot faster. However, the issue appears to be on Apple's latest computers with their silicon chips. And this seems to be the easiest solution. Thanks for watching Ready Set Drone. Don't fly alone.